Back to the news now on this Friday afternoon. Hamilton County Schools has launched its COVID-19 rapid test pilot program at Howard School. Hamilton is one of seven districts statewide that were chosen to be a part of this, funded by the State Departments of Health and Education. And our Joy Dukes has more. Well, today was the launch of the pilot program, but we're told stage one, which will allow uh, middle school teachers who are experiencing symptoms to get tested, will begin on Monday. Now, today, school officials gave us a little bit more insight on uh, the process for this pilot program, as well as the reliability of the tests. Managing coronavirus cases will soon be a little easier for Hamilton County Schools. This is a game changer for the nurses and the, the employees and the, the district. You know as the first to launch its rapid test pilot program funded by the state. So we already have a consent form for our staff, of course, because we've kicked off the, the pilot and we'll officially be testing staff on Monday. The Binax Now rapid coronavirus test is set to provide results within 20 minutes, and the district has 3,600 on hand, which officials estimate to be about a one to two month supply. A Channel 3 was not to take video of the area where testing will take place next week, but did speak to Howard Connect School Principal Marty Miller, who was the first to get a nasal swab test. Our school nerves got you know fully suited up with all of the, the medical gear and the face shields. Just the test itself, not painful, not something I'd want to do every day, but um, it was quick, it was easy, and like I said, in 15 minutes we knew knew the result. While the test is fast, school officials say the reliability of the results really depends on the circumstances. You know, it may be questionable, you know, if the person is symptomatic and the test turns out negative. Hamilton County Schools lead COVID-19 response coordinator Jennifer Bronson tells Channel 3 if a person who does not have symptoms gets a false positive from the rapid test, there is a 66% chance that the result is inaccurate. But if a person is symptomatic and tests positive, there's only a 5% chance that the result is inaccurate. So the positive result for an asymptomatic person is far less reliable than for a symptomatic person, which is again why we're really going to prioritize our symptomatic staff to start with. Right. Well, since the pilot is starting with staff members in middle schools, each middle school now has a box of 40 tests inside its nurse's office, and there is a consent form staff will have to sign. The students with symptoms will be able to get a test done starting spring semester. And Bronson says the district is still working on its plan to get parental consent. Our testing for stage one will begin officially on Monday. Stage two will begin in just a few weeks on December the 14th. Stage three, which will incorporate students who are symptomatic, will not begin until the start of the spring semester. And stage four is expected to begin on February the 1st. That is a tentative start date. Reporting in Chattanooga, Joy Dukes, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.